This is a basic gist of who I am. My name is Keita Dixon, but my artist name is Cadillac, like the old school Cadillacs. I am a shy, quiet, reserved person that instead of expressing myself through verbal communication, I use the universal languages of art and music. Being a super reserved person, I've created an alter ego name, Super Rapping Woman. She is faster than the speed of sound. She can relay messages that I am usually too shy to even comment on. Being bullied growing up, I made myself a shell of protection from the outside world. Super Rapping Woman helps me break through that shell. Hi guys, it is late at night. This was a throwback Thursday, but now it's going to be a flashback Friday as usual. It is 1.03 a.m. on this Friday the july the 23rd so um i'm trying to still get out that throwback thursday um maybe i should change it to flashback friday but if i did then i probably wouldn't get it out until saturday <laughs> and what is it like maybe it'll be a socket to miss saturday or something i don't know but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get this out so um i am going to introduce you you just got a little intro there um, if you would like to see the full part, the full video from that little clip, then um, I'll link in the description what is Project Reach the World. Um, that's why I'm doing my flashback, flashback Fridays. My, well, really, they are my throwback Thursdays slash flashback Friday so that I can show you Project Reach the World, all the different projects I did to bring attention to my husband's case, Marcello Jackson, who was wrongfully convicted and excessively sentenced in the state of Florida. Yes. So to bring attention to his case, I would do artwork, um, whether it was music, art, graphic design, hair art, whatever. Um, I wear a lot of hats, a lot of creative hats, and I've used all of my creative abilities to bring attention to my husband's wrongful conviction. So today, I want to introduce you to my alter ego, Super Rapping Woman. Yes, that is, if you ever paid attention to my intro, that is what you see you see my character, comic book character that I've created called Super Rapping Woman, and you see her pop out of a you see her pop out of a boombox. So I'm gonna show you. You've seen a little bit of art that concerns um, Super Rapping Woman. So let me show you a little bit more. Okay, so I actually, you know, finally found a Super Woman outfit. Well, I think it's a Superman outfit, but female style, I don't know. Because I don't think Superwoman. I don't know if the outfit was quite like that. But um, I am not really a superhero. I just play one on CD. <laughs> that was my slogan for Super Rapping Woman back then. Well, that was a tagline. And then my main tagline for Super Rapping Woman was Single Mother by Day super rapping woman by night because I was that single mother because Marcello was locked up on a 40 year bid so I had to become a single mother by force not choice I do have a song called that to all my single mothers out there by force not choice hey know that you can make it but the choice is yours if you never give up never throw in the towel keep your head up you make it die somehow yes that was one of my favorite songs um i always did music to uplift women to uplift single mothers to to encourage anybody doing time to I've always tried to be encouraging with all of my gifts. Um, but as you see with Super Rapping Woman, I am quite silly. I get kind of silly with it. Um, I used costumes. I used crazy hair pieces. Anything that could bring attention to your girl, I'm going to do it. So I found this little Super Woman outfit at a thrift store. And yes, girl, I knew that was specially made for me. And it was in my size, <laughs> plus size. So um, 
Yeah, that's so you see me like sporting the little outfit. I was so happy when I found that thing. Um, and the reason I chose to do my throwback Thursday on Super Rapping Woman is because I seen a flyer today that MegaCon is coming. Yes, it's it's not you know, as big as Comic Con, but Megacon is still big, still, you know, great. All the little graphic designers and creatives, this is the event to be at. Yes. So um I seen a flyer that they are doing it this year. So I need to get something together for Super Rapid Woman so she could be at the Megacon. Yeah. <laughs> so um I, you just see me just sporting the outfit there, super rapping woman. This one, you see, it was a t-shirt that I was creating of Super Rapping Woman, but I didn't never finish it. Um, this year was supposed to be, 2021 was supposed to be the year of finishing what I started. So um, I did find this shirt. So I will be finishing this shirt in front of you guys very soon. Okay, so this one right here. As you see, this is from um, Tom Joyner Family Reunion. Oh, it doesn't have a date. Okay, so this is from the Tom Joyner Family Reunion. Yes, that was the event to be at every single year around, you know, August back to school time. The first week of back to school here was always that time to um, that I would go to the Tom Joyner Family Reunion he would bring all his crew, Tom Joyner, everyone else with him to Orlando. And it would be a good old time. There would be plenty of celebrities. So this year I did have on my super rapping woman hairpiece that you seen in the other video. I'll just refresh your memory. That picture there, that's my hairpiece. But in this one, I kind of photoshopped it um, just to commemorate that event. And in the glasses, you see that year I met Tamia and I met Jaheem. So I paraded around as Super Rapping Woman with my outfit on and my hairpiece. And my daughter, she was like, would you guys like to take a picture with Super Rapping Woman? Her and her friend, like they was just, they was going crazy. They thought it was the coolest thing. And do you know her, her friends, she never was embarrassed about it. She was just gung-ho with it all the way. So I would dress up and go to events. I had to get attention because I have a story to tell. And, um, you know, all of that, oh, my blah, 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 I'm walking up to people. Don't nobody want to hear that. I would rather people to come up to me. Hey, what is this? Why are you doing this? And that breaks the ice. So it's a good icebreaker. Actually, what was crazy towards the end of the super rapping woman, um, I'm sorry, towards the end of the Tom Joyner family reunion, I started other people dressing up, like other people started coming to the family reunion because I would come with all my artwork. I started seeing other people come with their artwork to hand out to famous people. And then also I, I would dress up every single year in an outfit, hair piece and stuff. And towards the end, I started seeing other people doing it. So it sparked like a whole thing but you know me once some other people start doing things that I'm doing it's no longer original to me and it makes me not as much want to do it but you know <laughs> and there's the actual picture you can see from the glasses that's me my sister and Tamia there's another shot yes and then that's the shot of Jaheem. He had an artist that he discovered with him. Me and my sister and my painting project reached the world. Yes, there's the date. So that was August 31st, 2018. Okay, so yeah, that's when we went to that Tom Joyner. It would be a whole weekend. So at this, the I wrapped up the show with the super rapping woman outfit so those two times that i that time that i went out and met tamia and jaheem you would just come back day after day so the last day is when i wore the super rapping woman outfit and paraded around it was times that if it was a four-day weekend i had 
change I would change clothes like the whole time outfits I would have shirts for all those people that came and it was crazy so now let me show you um this was a digital painting that I did of super rapping woman um I had never you know did anything with photoshop at that point when I did this this was the semester after my mother passed that I took the Photoshop class. Um, I was not excited at all to take that class. I actually dropped that class after my mother passed. My mother passed as soon as my first semester ended the week after she passed away. And I just couldn't take it. I said, I'm dropping out of school. This is not meant to be. Like, as soon as I get my life together, it falls apart. So, um, yeah, so I went on and dropped that class. I, really, I don't think my mother wanted me to do that because as I was trying to drop the class, I swear that phone just kept falling out my hand like I couldn't do it. But finally, I did drop the class. So when I did retake it the next semester, it actually was therapeutic to me. I actually was like I was I, I was also in a drawing class. So I was releasing a lot of, I was putting so much emotion into this, these creations because it was like, that was the only thing that kind of freed my mind from thinking about my mother, like constantly. And why did this happen? And it, okay, so here it is. It started from a picture that I had in a uniform. So I, you just start painting straight over the picture in Photoshop. So there you see the picture. Then I put in the eyes, the body, <laughs> working more on the eyes. Now you see it coming together with the eyes, um, the body, and there's there's shading on the face. Then I got the eyes complete, got the little eyebrows, they look good, the um, eyelashes and all of that. Then right here, I am working on the highlights. I put some highlights on her. In the background, what you can see is I was in martial arts at the time still. So these are a lot of our stances that you can see in the background. So my character, Super Rapping Woman, that, you know, she's a fighter. She's going to fight for what's right. So you got to use them little stances, them little martial arts kicks and, and punches and blocks and stuff like that. Like, I got to block the haters. <laughs> but you can see that off to the back. So that's supposed to be Super Rapping Woman in action. And then you see her in the front with her little pose. Um, zooming in on the face because I'm doing more detail into the face. I got the little eyeshadow added now. Yes, yeah, giving it life. Then I went in on the body. I had to put in some abs because, you know, Super Rapping Woman is a strong woman. And what she does is she is, oh, I got too fast. She is a strong woman. Yes, all the muscles and this and that. So there it is. I'm painting in more of the muscle. That look real right there. Oh, that looks real. Wow. That's crazy. So then here we go. You're starting to see her more. I got some detail in her little cape. Um, that was like a stamp thing where they taught us how to make a stamp in Photoshop. So her um, cape is made out of that. Then I got some texture on her little, um, I got some texture on her two piece. Gives it a little, you know, 3D effect. Then I decided, I don't know, I was playing with the colors and then I realized, hey, this looks better, that darker color. Yeah, it's coming together. Then I got a tagline, someone, a buddy of mine that I worked with uh, when we used to get off of 
the rush hour at the restaurant, we would just talk and talk and talk. And they gave me that idea, super rapping woman, faster than the speed of sound. Yes. And like when she does things, the little sound waves come out and stuff like that. (laughs) Yes. Eventually my comic book is going to come together. Me and Marcello were supposed to be working on it. He is an awesome writer. And I'm an awesome draw um, artist. Um, I cannot write story formats like he can. So he's supposed to take my character, write some scenarios, and I'm gonna sketch them out. So those are that's still in the works, guys. And there it is. I added a little bit of boom, splat, plat. You remember, like back in the day, Superman. Yeah, Superman. That's how they had like real comics and stuff. And she got her boots on good. Yes, her tall boots, super rapping woman. And there it is. We always had to. And graphic design, you always, you don't just present something. You always had to um, mount it on Blackboard. It had to look beautiful for presentation. They would always make us get up in front of the class and present it. And then you pass these around or you display them. So this is my comic book cover. And that is it on the blackboard display. And then there you can see I mocked it up. With, which a mock-up in graphic design is where you take your design and you make it look as though it's being used in real life. So you got to Photoshop it to look as though it's being actually um used as what you designed it for so I designed this as a comic book cover so I had to mock it up to be a comic book cover so there we go super rapping woman faster than the speed of sound um this picture here at my school I was in um a art they would have a art show that was for art and also for graphic design. So it was a creative show. So I was in drawing one. So you see on the left side, a, a charcoal drawing that I did of a horse. I'll show you that one um, later. I have shown that to you before. It's actually in my um, video, The Women That Inspired Me. I can link that in the description box. That video also shows a whole lot of my artwork if you're interested. And then over to the right, you see the um, framed version of this. I submitted it as a Photoshop piece. Digital painting. Okay, now we get into Super Rapping Woman. She actually evolved. When I had, what class was this? What class? Illustrator. Oh boy, I still am not the biggest fan of Illustrator. If there's any graphic designers out there, let me know. What which I'm crazy. I'm not the average graphic designer because the average graphic designer likes Illustrator and do not like Photoshop as well. I love Photoshop. I am so in love with Photoshop. I Photoshop almost every single day in life. I am so great at editing pictures, manipulating the pictures, um, fixing the pictures, anything you need me to do to the pictures, I just about can do. Like, I'm awesome in Photoshop. Illustrator is a bit more complex, and um, I, I could explain it but you know I'll leave that for when I start doing my Photoshop tutorials and Illustrator tutorials so but anyways I took Super Rapping Woman and I created a clothing line hip-hop attire Super Rapping Wear so you see here Super Rapping Woman back in the 80s they had them four finger rings because I am a hip hop classic hip hop artist and that was something big back in that time the four finger ring so I designed the Super Rapping Wear as a four finger ring that she wears as she's like popping up out of the jukebox boom box why do I keep calling it a jukebox that would be more 70s so this is a design that I was working on for a gift bag. So once you purchase the Super Rapping Woman 
graphic tee or, or um, what do you call it? Screen printed bags, handbags or whatever it is, it goes in the gift bag. So be a hip hop hero. Yes, with be a hip hop hero with super rapping wear. Ah, the girl told me about that. I got a typo. It says hip hip hero. <laughs> be a hip hip hero. No, girl. It's supposed to be hip hop. Uh, that is so irritating because this is a nice design. But then to have a typo and baby, you can get taxed for that. You do the best work you can do, and then here it is. You got a typo. You got the um you know, make, make good on that for your client. So, Ooh, this is a bad one, but I was my own client at this point. <laughs> so there you see my, my whole, um, project. I'll show you more of this cause I did just find this one. So it's the graphic t-shirt, the screen printed t-shirt, and it rolls up and it goes into the little canister that is sitting in the background next to the gift bag and then you put the once you roll the t-shirt up you put it inside the gift bag yes i came up with that idea oh that teacher put she pushed me she really did and oh my gosh that teacher i thought with before i took her i thought she was gonna be the coolest teacher ever because just like i was telling you about megacon she was a she was a comic book she was a comic book hero. Like she would dress up in the um the comic book um characters like I don't know what you call that, but like they would dress up similar to me, but no, she was next level. She was an actual character and I thought she was going to be the coolest ever and boy. She did end up being cool in the end, but baby she was really tough and I think I just got engulfed in the whole comic book thing because I know it doesn't have anything to do with it but let me pop in really quickly yes that's the picture that I designed that was my project I believe two in her class that I had to um design with a famous a famous art artist that I a famous artist that I chose. I think they were from the early 90s and they did a lot of print work for um, hip hop magazines and stuff like that. I fused it together with, um, we had to pick a movie poster. So I did choose Black Panther. Black Panther had just came out. I was so amazed by that freaking movie. It was so epic. So I was so in love with it. So the first moment I got, I fused the Black Panther movie. And we had to do a redo a movie poster, but fuse it with the artist. So this is that picture. Just plug that in because, <laughs> just because. And rest in peace to Chadwick Boseman. Oh. Broke my heart when I heard that. And there you see the t-shirt like propped up against the bag. You can see my little tag in the front. That's the little price tag that would hang from the shirt. All hip hop inspired. I do plan to, I'm, I'm going to show you the step by step of this. It may be on my TikTok because I'm putting more artwork on my TikTok. But I do plan on making some graphic tees for my merch for YouTube because every YouTuber has their merch. But your girl going to design her own. <laughs> yes. So I am going to close out this video with a verse. This verse right here. You know, whenever they, you, they say, are you a, a rapper? Spit something. This was my go-to verse. Yes. This was my go-to verse. Every time I hit this verse, they'd be like, oh. Because I the first time I, I, I spit this, it was this dude that um 
I don't, I don't know. So we, he would get, we would all like network and I get on your song, you get on my song. And at that time, it wasn't a lot of female rappers out there. So when people found out I was a female rapper, yes, they had to get your girl on the song, on the track. So it was a closet studio, but as if you ever did music, you know them closet studios sound quality come out better sometimes than the big time studios. So I laid a little verse. He gave me the smallest little section. I don't even think he gave me 16 bars. But with that section, I just ripped it. And I that was the first time. That's where um Super Rapping Woman was actually created from a verse because I used it as a metaphor. I said Super Rapping Woman headed for the top up up in a way. I spit the little verse real quickly. Sessing this all right behind using that to sell. I'm banking on the fact that my rhymes are hot as hell. I'm headed for that number one. Spike it out my way. It's that super rapping woman headed for the top up up in a way. The rap game is my weapon. Fire lyrics is my cape. I'm suited up. Competition coming to get blown away. If the tank ain't big enough, one fish can eat the other. I hunger for this game, and I'm ready to eat. It's time for supper, 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 supper. Yes, it's your girl, Cadillac. Yes, when I spit that verse, they were blown away. Them dudes was like, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> for real, I used to blow them away because they look at me. I'm quiet. They, I did look like a rapper at first. And they, they, you know, sometimes dudes don't think females can rap as good as, you know, they can or whatever. So when I get in that studio, I'm there to work. I would have my voice on point. I would have my verse on point is what I meant to say, but my voice as well. I could not read off no paper, so I would have that down in my mind, like off rip. Um, it wasn't no punch me in, punch me in, or none of that stuff. It wasn't no none of that. I, I dropped that first, you know, the first layer. Then you got to stack it. I do verse two, stack it to make that voice thicker. Then come in with them ad libs, and I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Because money, time is money, and money is time. <laughs> like for real so they was blown away so I got a little video that I did release I don't know did I put this on I think it comes from Facebook it could have been on my MySpace but I don't think I had MySpace at that time I think it had I think MySpace was a thing of the past at that point but it was like where we just had got on Facebook leaving MySpace so you see my little super rapping, actually, I'm sorry, it's not super rapping woman. You see my super woman outfit and I'm spinning the verse. So I'm going to leave y'all with this. But yeah, baby, I was not ashamed to make a fool of myself because I am trying to make a statement. And if you're scared to look crazy, then you're not going to make any type of statement. Look at this one here. You could see, I'm, look, look at me. I got a freaking fox suit on rapping but that verse right there that verse right there go hard maybe I'll show y'all that one next time but yeah I didn't care I would dress up outfits crazy and, and but I was on some real stuff I wanted my husband free and I still want him free so I'm gonna leave y'all with that video it, it is kind of funny <laughs> But it, it it means something. All right, guys. It's your girl Cadillac. Sessing this all right behind you, using it to sell. I'm banking on the fact that my runs are hot as hell. I'm headed for that number one. Spike it out my way. It's that super rapping woman. Headed for top up, up and way to rap. Game is my weapon. Fire lyrics is my cap. I'm suited up. Competition coming. To get blown away. Tank ain't big enough. One fish gonna weep the other. I hunger for this game and I'm ready to eat. It's time for supper. This video was in remembrance of our visitations from 2001 to 2021. 
Visitation is the only way that our family was able to be a family together as a unit. Our visitations were terminated due to retaliation because my husband, an incarcerated citizen in the state of Florida, wrote a grievance against an officer and in turn, they took our visits. Thank you. It's the glass cow, Zach.